welcome to a new episode of our program, Jerusalem Stories. Today's stories takes place within Al-Aqsa Mosque, involving numerous individuals from Jerusalem. Several months ago, it occurred to three girls from occupied Jerusalem, Hira Asus, 18 years old, Mahar Asus, 16 years old, and Alma, the six-year-old daughter of their sister. Following the martyrdom of Hira's fellow student at Birzeit University, she mourned his loss deeply. Hira decided to recite the Holy Quran for him inside Al-Aqsa Mosque and distribute dates as a charitable gesture for his pure soul. The Israeli occupation camera documented the event as young Alma holding a picture of the martyr joined in reciting the Holy Quran with her innocent voice. After Friday prayers, the occupying forces identified the girls' location as they were having lunch under a tree. Subsequently, the Israeli police raided their spot and arrested them. Despite Hira's plea for the Israeli soldier to respect the international laws and conversations regarding minors and children, the girls were subjected to verbal and psychological violence. However, the soldier only ordered to ban them from Al-Aqsa Mosque for a week. Such incidents are recurrently experienced by the people of Jerusalem, with the occupation authorities frequently imposing expulsion orders from Al-Aqsa Mosque, which are sometimes renewed for varying durations. This primarily affects citizens, especially children and women, including students from religious schools and those stations within Al-Aqsa Mosque, merely for being present or uttering takbir. Numerous worshippers have faced imprisonment, expulsion from Al-Aqsa Mosque, and heavy fines. These measures aim to depopulate Al-Aqsa Mosque and replace the worshippers with settlers, facilitating their incursions and enforcing temporal and spatial division policy within the mosque. These repeated racist policies against the people of Jerusalem and the forced expulsion from their mosque occasionally escalate to crimes against humanity, or war crimes as defined by international law.